I've got the winning coach with me, Chris Coyne. Chris, uh, job done, I suppose that would be the easiest way to put that. Yeah, I think so. Listen, I think in the, in the first half, I thought the, the boys were outstanding. Some of the, the play, some of the, the build-up play. Um, and if we'd taken our chances, it could have been five or six. And, you know, credit to Pricey and his Armadale boys. Second half, they, they came out, he, he adjusted them slightly, and they, they made a fist of it and, and made it tough for us. So, you know, I'll take the three points, but a um, little bit disappointed second half, to be honest. I think we've got to, you've got to put teams to the sword. They did really uh, come at you though in the second, well not so much come at you, but they held their own in the second half Armadale, so I suppose you have to give them credit for that. Yeah, you do. Um, I mean, like I said, it's not easy when you're 3-0 down to, to come out, but then uh, you know, I, I said to my boys, just can we keep the game simple? Can we play out 90 minutes mm. of football, do the simple things well and you'll have no issues? Um, and that's a frustrating thing for me at the moment, because if we keep the basics of the game there, no one can live with this, um, because we have the flair when we need it, but if the basics of the game there, the move everything we work on in training um, they make it easier for themselves and then you know like you said in, in all credit to, to Armadale they kept at it they've got good legs they've got you know um, Fozzie Machucho or Machino however you, you pronounce it um, who will get at you you'll hurt you um, young Danny up front done really well and worked his socks off and they, they caused a few problems so you know credit to them it's never easy when you're 3-0 down but I'm a bit disappointed with, with our boys I want to see I want to see in, see in our games yeah well I heard you a couple of times in the second half just shouting to them to keep it bloody simple yeah it's, I mean we complicate it's a simple game isn't it why complicate it um, you know it, it is disappointing because the, the players are, are like to get a, a good football Footballers first and foremost, and why go away from what you're good at? You know, why go away from something that you, you know? We're not a flicks and tricks and, and, and party tricks team. We're a, yeah. we're a football inside, so keep doing what you what, what you're good at. Um, but you know, like I mean, Heggers came over and he said, you know, I know you're getting frustrated, Corny, and da da da. Whether it's subconscious or not, you know, mm-hmm. you've got to give credit where it was due. They've done what they needed to do before half time, and you know, sometimes you've just got to accept it for what it is. Yeah, I was just going to say that first half was exceptional. It was um, clinical to a degree uh, I even had a question mark over um, Toddy's goal I didn't know for a start there why it was disallowed yeah I didn't I didn't see a lot in it I, th- I mean I thought the referee by the way was very good today um, credit where credit's due I thought Teddy, Toddy chested it he said hand but um, it is what it is but like I said we hardly saw the referee today yeah. yellow cards were issued when they were necessary and I thought he, he spoke so I whinge enough about him so I think you know credit credit's well deserved today from the, the three officials I thought they were very good yeah and it, it was, I must say as well, I agree with you about the referee, it was a, quite a good performance by him. Uh, I suppose at the end of, after last week, after the pressure, shall we say, of last week, probably maybe a little bit flat this week, could it be? Um, yeah, we, and not to forget, we played Saturday, Monday as well, so you, you've got to take that into the, into the equation and obviously give the boys a bit of credit because they still rolled out in that first half. But, mm. you know, it is hard to hold it up for 90 minutes when you have to do it week in, week out. And we have been rotating players and making sure the boys are fresh because we don't want to blip like we did this time last year. Yeah. Um, and I think the boys are, you know, in good shape. And we go into a massive two weeks now of Sterling and then Serena. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Going on last season, where you were able to get away with it because of the final situation, there's no coming back this year if you have that little blip. Yeah, no, you can't. I mean, in 22 games, you know, you, you're not going to lose. You know, at the, if you're going to be at the top of the table, you can't afford to lose too many. Yeah. Uh, I think the first year I was there, we lost four. Uh, last year we lost three. So you, you can't be you can't be yeah. can't be losing games and still being expecting to be up there because as soon as they get above you, it's impossible to catch them. As we found out with Sterling. Yep. Yeah. Now uh, the other thing, the winning the cup and winning through the cup semi-final, I know. Bayswater itself is a very professional club, but will the guys themselves also be thinking of that, do you reckon? In the backs of their minds. I won't give them an opportunity. For me, the, the Serena game's a, a cup final. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a cup semi, it's a cup final now um, with the way they've got it set up for the FFA Cup and, and so on. So, you know, we've got Sterling last game of the round next week. Um, we'll show them all the respect that they, they duly deserve because they're a good team by their own, own rights uh, who rolled us quite convincingly in the night series. So, we, we, you know, we'll be wary of them and once we get that out of the way then we'll start looking towards a, a game I mean it's still you know two weeks away so yeah. one hurdle at a time um, I won't be allowing anyone to get soft or not work because they just won't play it's as simple as that if they don't do the work against um, Sterling they just don't, won't get the opportunity to, to back it up against Serena in the cup final Do you think there should be a bit of uh, shall we say full on promotion 
promotion done for the cup semi-final seeing as it is seeing with the amount of uh, how we say at stake the amount of stuff at stake yeah absolutely I mean potentially you're looking at a sort of 50 to 100 grand game for clubs it's it's yeah. massive uh, especially you know in, in West Australian football it's huge so yes I would like to see more of it done but I mean it's the same as last year we had an NPL launch and then this year it just falls by the wayside so I do understand it comes down to, to pennies and pounds but I still would like to see more of it made you know even rivalry round I think you know kudos to Perth they made a, made a big deal of it but apart from that I didn't really yeah. see a lot of it and I'm you know always reading the papers and, and whatnot and didn't see anything so yes I would but you know that's that's something for, for someone else to decide and what are your thoughts on Gwellop Croatia getting to the I better put in the Croatia bit as well because they get upset if we don't actually mention the whole name yeah. um, getting through a fantastic result against Mandra yeah listen I didn't I didn't see it coming so um, in a way I was I was quite um, pleased that we didn't get an unknown entity um, good experience they're paying good money I mean that the four or five boys that I know there are good players and um, it's just that unknown element you know we know what Serrano are wary we, we know what they're about um, we know what Perth are about but that, that well up Croatia side um, and in one step away from being in the, in the nation's mm. largest competition so kudos to them and um, I think they'll be a handful for Perth with the, with the quality they've got so it's always pleasing that's the beauty of the FA Cup isn't it that's the romance I suppose mm. of you know I, I love the Cup after being a big part of it in the UK and um, it's, I'm you know, grateful that we've got an opportunity to, to potentially emulate that Well in actual fact to me the Football West section of it which is this section that we're in at the moment has been the true romance of Cup like we had amateur sides, we had first division, second division sides getting through I just hope that when it gets to the actual main body of it, that it's done in the similar way, if you get drawn at home, you play at home Yep, yeah, um, listen I mean, we'll have learnt from, from what happened last year and we'll, you know, we potentially get that, that opportunity again um, you know, if Sereno go through, they've got the facilities there already, um, I'm not sure of Guelph, I haven't been there for a while so I'd, I'd, be, um, I'd be guessing if I did but hey, I mean, it is what it is, if we if we get it at home, we play it at home. That's the whole advantage. You know, I've been to some horrible places in the UK in the FA Cup, yeah. and you, you've got to go and roll your, your sleeves up against Greys and or East Starrick on a on a Tuesday night with on a mud pitch. So it is what it is. I think you should get by rights to play at home. Yeah. Um, and I think that's that's the same thing again. Make them come to some scrap heap and, and roll the sleeves up and see what they're all about. Yeah. Well, what about for this week then? The training uh, will be all focused on st uh, Sterling for the weekend? Yeah, absolutely. I'll watch the DVD before training on Tuesday. We'll break it down. Uh, strengths, weaknesses of our performance and, and we'll make sure that you know when we go into the game that they, the boys know their jobs, they know their roles and they know what is, what's expected of them like they do every week. Yeah. Okay, Chris, well, it's a bit noisy here today. Yeah. <laughs> just, just a little... Leaving the grandstand. Yeah, just about. <laughs> Listen, I wish you the very best of luck and uh, we'll chat to you on Monday night and let's talk football. Awesome, Ian. Thanks for having Cheers, us. Man. Take care, mate.